A nonprofit animal advocacy group says the elephants at the Cincinnati Zoo are being mistreated. Local 12's Christian Hauser here tonight with what that group says needs to be done and what the zoo says about these new allegations. Christian, break it all down for us. Well, Kyle and Paula, the group in defense of animals says the four elephants at the zoo are showing signs of stress from the size of their enclosure. But a spokeswoman for the zoo says the animals are in great physical shape and are even able to participate in yoga to help keep limber. This is video from a volunteer for in defense of animals. Brittany Michelson with the group says it shows the elephants exhibiting classic signs of stressed animals like tail pulling. They have four Asian elephants that are crammed into an unbearably small one acre space. This is far too small for one elephant, let alone four. Michelson says the investigator also noted the noise level inside the enclosure and says it's too loud for the elephants. A lot of um, harsh sound, like there was like a machinery sound echoing. Um, and by the way, these animals have very sensitive hearing. The zoo will argue that, you know, our elephants are doing well, that they are healthy. And while they might exhibit some behavior, they still, you know, they are doing well. What do you say to that? Um, that is the propaganda that they put out to the public is that, you know, while the elephants are fed and they're, you know, they're, they're cared for and they have shelter and um, they, they have, you know, medical care. But it, it Time and time again, studies have revealed that elephants do not belong in, in zoos. A spokeswoman for the zoo says its elephant program is well-respected and exceeds Association of Zoos and Aquariums' rigorous expectations and requirements. She also points out the zoo's elephant team has more than 100 years of combined experience caring for the animals. She also says the zoo broke ground on a new elephant facility last summer and is on track to open Elephant Trek in 2024. That will be nearly five times the size of the current elephant yard and will mimic the Asian elephant's native habitat. The advocacy group says its ultimate goal is to get these elephants and pretty much most elephants at zoos relocated to sanctuaries while they have a much larger area to roam. But right now, it looks like these calls for the elephants to be home, rehomed, excuse me, will go unanswered. Kyle, back to you. All right, Christian, both sides of that story. Thank you so much. And the zoo spokesperson points out that for most children, the zoo is likely the only place they'll ever see an elephant. And the zoo is a place where everyone can learn how they can take action to help species in other parts of the world.